hello everybody, Steve G3ZPS here uh, with another radio in the workshop. It's August 2020 and uh, I'm still not going out very much. So today we're looking at the uh, Yaesu FT7 stroke FT7B uh, radio I've had for a few years and I enjoy using. Uh, this line of radios came out in the late 70s uh, when the Yaesu and quite a lot of the other ham radio manufacturers, certainly for HF, started using solid state uh, PAs for their uh, radios. Yaesu and a couple of the other companies carried on with hybrids with valve, valves in tubes uh, into, the, um, into the 80s. Uh, but this is one of Yaesu's early offerings, I think probably primarily intended for mobile operation. So there were two versions of this radio. The first uh, was the plain vanilla FT7. Uh, that was a 20 watt PEP input radio, 10 watts output. And then after a, a fairly short period of time, probably yes, less than a year, Yaesu added a PA on the back to take the output up to uh, 50 watts. So now making it a fairly, uh, for the time, uh, potent. A bit of ham radio gear for mobile operation. There's not a lot of differences between the two variants. There are a few. On the this one, which is a higher power FT7B, <clears throat> there's more um, 10 meter sections, all four of them. Uh, on the earlier version, there was only uh, one 10 meter section, and I guess that was probably the bottom of the band for sideband. Uh, on this radio, there's a drive control. Um, which for some reason doesn't work, it just runs high power all the time. I think it's supposed to work on AM and uh, CW, but it doesn't uh, on this radio. Um, one of the things that's, that really, if you research this radio, that really gets extremely uh, good reviews is the receiver uh, is absolutely, absolutely brilliant. All analog, obviously, 9 meg IF, single conversion with a little pre-mix chain, but extremely sensitive and a very low noise uh, figure. Um, it's, it is a bit like having the preamp switched on all the time, um, but there's an attenuator uh, to knock the receiver back down to something more manageable on the low bands. Um, but it's extremely clean. Um, and as I said, uh, on, on the higher bands, the noise figure is very, very low. You can always tell uh, by disconnecting the antenna how uh, noisy the receiver is. Strictly speaking, you should put a 50 ohm load on, but just disconnect the antenna. And on this one, the noise drops away to an extremely low level. And I plug in a 20 meter antenna and uh, you can hear the noise on the band, which is very, very good. Um, for some reason, Yaesu spent a lot of time and effort in putting AM into these radios and I really don't know why without an AM filter it sounds terrible and is next door to useless. They could have saved probably one whole board of components uh, by not bothering with AM. So, you know, you've got to do the AM transmit as well. Uh, there is a CW uh, audio filter which is fairly effective. So we'll just put it on it's on 40 metres. There's nobody on. I'm gonna try 20 meters. And it's talking at the same time. Two Echo Zero, Tango Delta Radio. The name is Lauro Lima Alpha United Radio Ocean. Located in northern Italy, QSL. It's an extremely clean receiver. I'm, I'm just amazed. Um, for people of my generation, um, the, the best uh, filter is your ears and a very, very clean analog receiver is still a, a force to be reckoned with, uh, even in the 21st century with um, DSP and uh, other uh, QRM uh, fighting uh, tools like IF shift. There's none of that on this radio. So, um, just have a listen on CW and hear the uh, CW filter. There's the FT8. Let's put the uh, filter on. So 
So one of one of the things that I think that makes the receiver quite good is the receiver is not broadband, so there's no general coverage. Um, and it uh, and even though it's not broadband, it probably could have been all the way through on the handbands. Uh, but it's actually uh, there are actually a bunch of tuned circuits in the front end, uh, which um, there's a there's a peak tune control, which is a multi-section, a bit like a pre-selector. So the radio is is tuned for each handband, so that that does limit the uh, uh, the the uh, susceptibility of the radio to very strong out-of-band signals to an extent. But of course, you use the attenuator if things are really bad. But Compared with, with some of the radios that I own, especially the little Alda 103, which is in an earlier video, which is a bit of a disappointment, um, the, the receiver in, in the FT7B is absolutely great. Uh, taking it mobile in the 21st century, uh, probably pull the parcel shelf off your car, it's pretty heavy. Uh, but uh, it's a great little toy and I love it. Yeah, quick report, Golf 3 Zulu Papa Sugar, right, go ahead. Quick report. Well, I think you're near enough 20 dB over 9 <laughs> up into uh, candle oven. 